Hi, this is Sir Josh and welcome to my lecture. Before we start our video, please be sure to check out the how to use this e-module file or note file found inside the folder of the module or the e-module. And when you are done, you are now ready to start. And I hope that you will learn a lot and you will enjoy today's lesson. Okay, good luck. Hello everyone, and again, welcome to our lecturer. I am Sir Josh Weistilo, or you can call me Sir Josh, and this is our first lesson for Applied Physics. So again, before we start, be sure to check out or read the how to use this e-module file found inside the folder of this e-module. The, the note file contains instructions or recommended procedures on how to view or watch this lecture video and answer the worksheets effectively and properly. And once you are done, we can now start. So again, welcome to our first lesson, Simple Harmonic Motion Springs. This module is good for two weeks. This module is divided into two lessons. You have Simple Harmonic Motion for Springs and Simple Harmonic Motion Energy. And I hope that you will learn a lot at the end of this lesson because I prepared some activities and of course worksheets that you will be answering. So let us start. So what are the objectives of today's lesson? We have three major objectives. One, you define simple harmonic motion. Then, we will be able to describe the motion of a spring in terms of Book's Law. Then, we will solve sample problems on SHM springs. SHM means simple harmonic motion. So, these are our objectives. And without further ado, let's start our lesson. So, before that, let us review what is periodic motion. It is any motion that repeats itself in equal intervals of time. So, for example, you have the rotation of the Earth in its axis, which occurs every 24 hours or one day. Then, of course, the revolution of the Earth around the Sun, which happens every 12 months or one year. It repeats itself in equal intervals of time. Then, some objects also exhibit simple harmonic motion. You have the motion of a pendulum as it sways or swings back and forth. And of course, the motion of a spring as it moves back and forth, being compressed and stretched, compressed and stretched. And that is simple harmonic motion. But what is simple harmonic motion or SHM? The simple harmonic motion is motion in which the acceleration of a body is directly proportional to its displacement from the equilibrium position but in the opposite direction. So, for example, your spring is moving to the right, your restoring force is moving to the left. If your spring is being compressed to the left, the restoring force is on the right or going to the right, opposite direction. So, one example of SHM is Hooke's Law. That is primarily in reference to spring. And the formula for Hooke's law is very basic. You have F equals to negative Kx. Where F is the restoring force. Or the force. Then K is the spring constant. In newtons per meter. And X is the displacement. Or how far the spring is being stretched. Or how far it is being compressed. So again, it is, they are opposite to each other. The restoring force in the direction of the displacement. So for example, the spring is moving to the left or to the right, the restoring force is going to the left. If the spring is moving to the left, the restoring force is going to the right. That's why, uh, that's why there is a negative sign. So again, look at the animation of the spring. As it goes to the right, restoring force is directed to the left. As it goes to the left, the restoring force the opposite direction, in this case to the right. Okay? If I am going too fast, you can simply pause this video or rewind until you get the point of the current discussion. 
okay again you can pause you can rewind you can even fast forward the pacing will be up to you but at the end be sure that you are able to understand today's lesson okay now Hooke's law is related to Newton's second law and weight remember when you were in grade 8 you discuss weight which is weight equals mg and Newton's second law is the force equals to ma remember that weight is also a force so fs equals to kx your fs equals to fg or kx equals to mg so therefore kx is also equals to ma g is the acceleration due to gravity and a is the acceleration of an object now let us try to solve a sample problem so sample problem number one Severino Eliote made a spring that needs a force of 3 newtons to be compressed from 40 centimeters to 35 centimeters. What is the spring constant? To solve this problem, we will use the basic GRS method. And I'm pretty sure that you're already familiar with this one. G stands for the given, R for the required, and S for the solution. So let's solve the problem. So first, let's start with the given. What are given? Ano ang makita sa problem? Ano ang mga numbers or variables na ara sa problem? In this case, force is 3 newtons. Displacement is 40 centimeters to 35 centimeters. Required, what is being asked in the problem? In this case, that's the spring constant. And now, we will try to solve the problem. So again, review the things, the variables that are given. The variable that is being required before we can proceed to the solution. Now, solution. Let us first convert our variables into their base SI units. So this becomes 40 centimeters becomes 0 0.40 meters because meters is the SI base unit for displacement or distance and 35 centimeters becomes 0 0.35 meters. So solution, we will use Hooke's law because Hooke's law is applic applicable in this problem. So the first step is to always state the formula first. We use Hooke's law because you are given the force, you are given displacement, and you are required for the required to solve for the spring constant. So Hooke's law is appropriate for this problem. F equals to negative K change in X. So first we will solve for the change in X. So again, change in X is the final position minus the initial position. So final is 0 0.35 minus initial which is 0 0.40 and you will get negative 0 0.05 meters. Then of course, we will now try to substitute the values. So force is 3 newtons. Displacement is negative 0 0.05 meters. Then, to solve for K, you simply divide using multiplication property of equality. So, negative K can be solved by dividing 3 newtons to negative 0 0.05 meters. And then, you will get an answer of 16 newtons per meter. So, don't forget to box or encircle your final answer. So, did you get it? Again, if this is too fast for you, just pause, slow down, rewind the video until you get each step. So let us now proceed to our second problem. A 21 load metal cube is attached to a spring hanging vertically stretches the spring 8.3 centimeters. The spring is now placed horizontally on a table and stretched 17 centimeters. How much force is required to stretch, to stretch the spring this long? Now, I want you to pause this video for about 5 minutes and solve the problem on your own. So, please get a piece of paper or any clean sheet of paper or scratch. Get your ball pens, get your scientific calculators and solve this problem on your own. Pause the video and don't peek or go to the next section or the solution of this problem.
So remember to give yourself at least 5 minutes first to solve the problem on your own before going to the solution. So 5 minutes. Now, I think that you are done. Let us now check your answer. So solution. In solving this problem, it is important that you are able to visualize the problem. As you can see, the spring is being placed into, into two different positions, vertical and horizontal, but it is the same spring. So you have the first scenario, vertical. Given F1, 21 newtons, X1, 0 0.083 meters. After that, the spring was placed horizontally. We have X2 equals to 0 0.17 meters. What is being required? The force or this F2. How do we solve for the force? We need to find what is missing that is common in these two scenarios first. And that is the correct. That is the spring constant or K. So we can only solve this problem if we look for K first. So F1 equals to kx1. We can solve the k in our first scenario. 21 newtons equals to k multiplied by 0 0.083 meters. And you now have the value of k which is 253.01 newton per meter. Now, we can now use k to solve the force in our second scenario. F2 equals to kx2. So F2 equals to 253.01 newton per meter multiplied by X2 which is 0 0.17 meters. And F2 equals 43.01 newtons. Then box or encircle your final answer. So it's so simple, right? Again, you can just go back. You can rewind this video. You can slow it down until you get each step. Okay, so do you have any questions? If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to send me a private message in my messenger account or any contact information that I will be providing later on and you just send there your questions and I'll be happy to answer them as soon as possible. So don't be shy. So let us summarize the lesson. In today's lesson, you were able to learn about the definition of simple harmonic motion you are able to be acquainted to Hooke's law, the formula for Hooke's law, which is F equals to negative Kx, where F is the restoring force, K is spring constant, and X is the displacement. Okay? So again, do you have any questions? If none, you can now proceed to the quiz prepared inside this module. So the quiz says, be sure to read the instructions of the worksheets instructions on how to answer and on where to answer and please be able to submit your outputs and worksheet answers on the next time that you will be collecting our next set of modules okay so good luck in answering our worksheets so if you have no further questions thank you very much and i hope to see you again in our next lesson goodbye